Yeah, this video until next week's very extremely unsettled, aggressive, stormy, wet weather forecast, UK. 2023, you like this video, and miss it, please a thumbs up. This is my local build date we're looking at today, of course, working tie locally. Blue colour is the rainfall, the red colour is the temperature we recorded in the morning. So December this year is one of the coldest December we've had, of course, working tie locally since the December to November, November 2010. The temperature 2.1 and the rainfall seems slightly lower than last year and it's been a lot colder than last year. We look at this guys, look at that difference guys from December 2021 to 2022. You can see it's been a little bit uh, drier this year and colder. And it's the coldest December we've had since 2010 locally in Woking Town. Look at that guys, incredible temperature, low temperature, minus 0 0.8. And the rainfall for the last 22 years, of course, uh, while well, Woking Town locally, it's been one of the driest. Um, December this uh, decade compared uh, at the beginning of this decade of 93 when the rain was wetter so it's been getting drier since the beginning of this decade guys last decade well it was dry and quite wet so this summer's going to be quite dry and quite wet very early across working town locally so that's the look of data across working town this is the upper global sea temperature to get today or if you're interested in the interest today off the west coast of South America and Pacific Region, the North Pacific Ocean up global sea temperature, the North Atlantic up global sea temperature, the West Coast of Africa up global sea temperature and the Gulf of Mexico up global global sea temperature Talk to the hand, man. We're here, guys. I'll be back. Talking about uh, a week to moderate La Nina. Getting a weaker now because the Pacific region, east and eastern base, the western base, uh, La Nina. And the North Pacific Ocean is still very unusually hot. That's closer for cold. hot winter, of course, northwestern Europe, which is not good at all. And, um, wow, it's very um, mild and very warm because the North Sea and, of course, the uh, major rain amount with the upper global sea temperature is not looking like a very cold winter across northwestern Europe, especially across the Alps in Europe. No little snow guys fall. Not good guys for skiers. Bad news. Really dangerous. Extinction level weather. We're talking about high temperatures in the future this year. 2023 of course in the Western Europe. Across the European countries especially. And this is the American 18 cent forecast future wise. Come back for the 8 jam. So that very, very major storm. This might be named Storm Anthony. Quite uh, severe gale force winds across the UK. And very unwet set weather. Quite deep low pressure. And it closes away. We've got high pressure building guys. So it's really moves in for a while. Probably dry as well. And it gets wet again. Where we're wind from the south, northwest, and northwest of the winds, and southwest of the and southeast of all over the place, guys. Northeast of the and it starts to get cold. We've got a beast from the east ice up to four here. It's caused by an SSW, which is actually warning for 10 HPA. One to look out for, guys, over Scandinavia, hybrid in there, guys. All to play for northern blocking, guys. Low pressure going south there. This is the upper air temperature for Woking Town locally. Red line's the 30 average line. Temperature's got undulating all over the place, going down, up, and down. Goes slightly down below average if we go into the future. Uh, across working time. And the operation run, this is the green run, this is going negative. So it looks like it might turn colder towards the end of January 2023 across the UK, according to the uh, models here, the American models, guys. And these are rainfall spikes. So it might be quite uh, involved in some stormy low pressure systems, with actually named Storm Anthony, and uh, quite wet in squally showers, and some might be quite heavy and very prolonged rain spells. And might be dry spells within there between there as well. Because working town locally, so that's the world class working town. This is the world class working town again. This is the, um, the Met Office world class. So might tomorrow, grey and cloudy. Good day to get out do your leaves and get your leaves up left over from the autumn. There's still loads of leaves left out there from the autumn to cut to keep up. And it'll be quite dry, southwesterly wind, about 11 12 miles per hour. The same on Friday, a little bit less wind. Saturday looks like a very wet day. Sunday looks like a dry day. Monday looks like a dry day. And it just keeps changing. The forecast is very um, wild in the future. I don't think it's the last forecast, guys. This is where the forecast is to change. So it may be very mild southwesterly winds there. Consistently, and the pressure's literally as we go into the future. Wow, well, it's going up, guys. 1,020, so it's getting higher. These forecasts have changed. This is the oscillation. It's down here, being negative. That means you've got high pressure over, um, well, you name it, Greenland or over Scandinavia. It's sustained slightly negative, and, and they're both in disagreement. The North Atlantic oscillation is getting positive, and these low pressure over, um, well, you name it, guys, over um, the north of this and high pressure over the UK. It's all just straight playful, guys. It's out of, they're out of place. And this is what we call shadows you warming up at uh, 10 HPA, guys. Shadows here. We've got an SSW there. That's red warning. Uh, it's colours there trying to penetrate the North Pole. The ballplex is going split the ballplex of the doom. But it's not enough, guys. It's close, though. It's close, guys. It's not a major warning. I would say it's moderately warming. It's getting there. And this is um, the upper, uh, well, this is the temperature across Europe at the moment. It's, not, it's quite warm at the moment across the Alps in Europe at the moment. If you like this video, please a thumbs up. Please subscribe to me, Sean Sanjay. I believe my weather forecast. I'm only maybe five percent right about the way we're in the world globally. I'm living across the UK. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to Sean Sanjay. I'm just, I'll be happy. Of course, we've got always plans. Plans, 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 pl